RNA extraction of viral samples has become a routine procedure in most biosafety level 3 laboratories. However, this procedure is governed by specific proce procedures related to biosafety and biosecurity. We are now going to install the Nextractor 48, uh, NX48S, which is from Genolution. This is an uh, instrument which provides a cartridge based extraction and the entire procedure is carried out within the safety of the extraction unit. The cartridge basically consists of uh, three wells multiplied by eight, so we have 24 uh, wells in which you can extract the sample and you can install two of these cartridges in the unit at any given time. The extractor also comes with a magnetic uh, plate, so upon completion of the extraction procedure, these uh, magnets, which are neodymium magnets, can withdraw the extraction uh, magnetic beads to the bottom of the plate so that you can safely withdraw the sample. Okay, in addition to this, we have these uh, specific, what are these called? Strip. Strips. for which will be part of the proce process of extraction. And then we have the calibration plate. However, the user does not have to perform the calibration as this will be performed by the company personnel. So coming back down to the machine itself, we have to carry out these extraction procedures within the safety of a biological safety cabinet as the volatile components and the aerosolized particles need to be trapped in the chamber itself. So I will now uh, proceed to the extraction procedure. So when you begin, you can start the machine and your screen will pop up. It's relatively simple to see. You have two basic procedures. One is extraction and sterilization. I will now turn to Miss Aini who will demonstrate to you how the unit is actually used. So we will first begin with the procedure of sterilization. So you turn on the sterilization button. Okay, so you're given various options from five to 10 minutes. And generally the procedure is 10 minutes. So you click on 10 minutes and then you start. Okay. So as you can see, the UV light has been activated in the unit and this ultraviolet light will have a lifespan of 100,000 hours, operational hours, and this does not require changing at any given point of time in the life cycle of this particular instrument. Okay, the next procedure, will uh, we will interrupt this sterilization procedure, and now the next procedure is basically the system setup itself. So we will proceed to the system setup. So as you can look into the unit, when, once it's open, you will see that there are some kind of magnetic uh, spindles over here as well as a thermal cycling bo block. This is actually a heating block. Okay, so let's proceed to the first part which is the installation of the strips. Okay. So the strips have to be in installed in their res respective receptacles and all the strips must be locked in tightly. There are three strips which are being installed over each well. Okay, and then we proceed to the next step, which is the installation of the sample plate. Now the sample block actually consists of three rows of eight. So you have three rows and you also have the solvents stored in the two other receptacles. And the final collection to, uh, receptacle is the fourth receptacle. Okay, so that's the fourth receptacle in which you collect the sample. Okay, so now we will mount the block. So once you load all your samples into these wells, the cover uh, is basically stripped off. So you don't have any kind of issues regarding spillage during transit. So once you finish loading the well, you can load the entire block into the system. Okay, as this is a demonstration video, we will not be uh, conducting this uh, tutorial outside the lab. The instrument will be basically operated inside the lab, but this is the basic idea of the setup. Okay, now we will view the basic setup of the instrument. So we'll move to the menu file. So I'm going to request, I need to take it out, and then we move to the menu file. Okay, let's go down to the standard menu. So when you turn on your menu, the, you have to select extraction. Once you select extraction, you have to select the protocol. The protocol which you select is for the semicircular uh, symbol over there. You'll see it with a 
tick mark, a uh, green tick mark. Okay, you click on that. Okay, and you select the protocol. Okay, subsequent to that, our protocol will select the specific kit with the instrument. So, in this case, we are going to select for viral nucleic acid. So, that is three. So, select three. Okay, and then the machine will ask you whether you need to heat up the blocks. So, if you have installed two blocks, please set both to on. So, if you select only one block, you may select only one block as on and the other one as off. So, when it's a grey uh, symbol, it means that the block is off. So, now the instrument has been set and is ready for operation. Okay, so you click set and the instrument will start. Now, this instrument will take approximately 17 minutes to complete the entire procedure from loading the sample to extraction and then we click on start and the procedure will uh, be basically cycled through with the machine so you'll start you'll have a beat capture lysis and then there'll be a elution step okay so that basically covers the operating procedure of this particular machine which is the next tractor nx48s from genolution thank you very much for watching the video and we will proceed to the actual lab practice in our BSL3 laboratory. Thank you very much.